Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to build a gingerbread bakery. So without further ado, let's get started. So as you can see, I already picked out the wallpaper and the flooring. I got this common flooring and I used this custom design as an accent wall and I used the falling snow wallpaper as the main wall. And I'm building my gingerbread bakery inside of a villager homes in Happy Home Paradise, but you can build it inside your house or outside or anywhere really. And now I'm going to list the list of materials you will need. The first item you need is the vintage TV tray. Once you have this, you wanna place a gingerbread cookie custom design on it so it looks like it's ready to be baked. The next items you will need are tables. You can use any kind you want. I'm just using counter tables because I think it works best for a bakery. And the third item on the list is a brick oven. I feel like this is a very essential item to this build because it just gives off that feeling and that effect of a cozy gingerbread bakery. And you need a kitchen or a kitchen stove. Any kitchen is fine. This is where you would make the dough and cut out the gingerbread shapes. You're also gonna need some sort of baking supplies. And the last thing on the list are food items. There are a lot of new food items now, so I took advantage of that. And I use things like bread and dessert items and other things that will fit well in the setting. And that's the list of the main items that you will need. There are a lot of items that I use that makes the whole build come together. So I'll briefly talk about that in a second, but for the rest of the video, I'm going to unblur my screen so you can see my progress. Now that my screen is unblurred, it's probably easier to see. So I'm making the area where they would make the gingerbread cookies and where you would buy them. And now that you're all caught up, let me list some of the items I used in my bakery that made it feel complete. I used a cash register and put it on the counter table so it's like you're paying there. I also put a little bit of lighting on the wall so it looks really nice in the background but it also gives you more lighting. I also added a big festive tree to add more holiday spirit. And then I also added a serving cart I added pillars, I also added a rocking chair and horizontal split curtains which are basically just dividers and I also added other miscellaneous objects to this build to make it feel more complete. And now for the rest of the video I'm just going to explain what I'm doing. I put down miscellaneous objects as I said in the list and I'm just putting down items that I think will look really nice in this build, things that will really fit. As I said in my list, I wanted to add a big festive tree, so I placed it on top of the lacy rug so it stands out more. Then I customized it to fit with the scene. And now you might be wondering what I'm doing. There was a gap in the left side and I didn't know how to fill that in, so I decided to make this space a little bit smaller, meaning I have to kind of move it towards the middle because it shrinks both the top and the bottom. And now I'm just moving things around because if I would have kept it like that, then the door would have been blocked and the whole room would have been unaccessible. And these parts are just self-explanatory. I really liked how this build came out. Also, if you're wondering why I recorded the intro at the end, well, that's because the room was really boring and I didn't know how to record the intro, so I just recorded the intro at the end. And now I'm adding the last final touches. I added a table and then placed some items on top of it. I added a mug and a mom's tea cozy. I mean, the mom's tea cozy literally has cozy in its name, so I had to include it. Also, it's really cute. And then I placed down a serving cart and placed a stovetop espresso maker on top of it. And that's it for the build. Thank you for watching and I hope you liked this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.